It's so baby, look. Doo -doo. Wah! Coming up. Okay. <laughs> Great. Great. What a wonderful team I have. We've got one! Here it is, the NVIDIA 3060 Ti graphics card, brand new in its box. Let's give it an unboxing, let's put it through some benchmarks, let's also give it everything we can on the mining side of things, give you the hash rates, and give you all the information you need as quick as we possibly can. So we're back at it again guys with another video, so if you can give us a big like, we've tried to get this out for you as soon as possible, we only got this card very very quickly last night so it's first thing in the morning really early trying to get this video out for you so we've all come into the office extra early just to try and get this to you as fast as we can so if you could be kind and give us a like you can subscribe below for more unique content for new card releases new generational stuff and all the crypto knowledge you need moving forward we <laughs> it's really small. <laughs> I hate my life. So here on this side we've got the 3060 Ti, so fairly small, what you'd presume was a normal size graphics card for the last generation. And of course the bigger brother here, this is a 3080. Uh, so you can see it's quite a, quite a big difference in size. Obviously in weight there's some serious difference as well. So this is quite a nice easy card to stick in a system. Um, the bigger stuff obviously gets a bit chunky with different cases. So nice and small is where this card is. So let's see how it performs. So today we're discussing the NVIDIA 3060 Ti, even though there's not yet a 3060. What? Um, Anyway, we're on the 3060 Ti and we're just going to give you the fact fun sheet as to what type of card it's meant to be. So we have 8GB of GDDR6 memory on a 256 bus. Of course, like the other cards, it's PCI Gen 4 uh, to give you a little bit of extra bandwidth, although it's probably not going to be needed on a card of this nature. And of course, like the other 30 series cards in this generation, it's second generation ray tracing. So we've got some benchmarks for you now on TimeSpy. We've put the card through its paces. This is effectively meant to be a 2080 Super uh, replacement for the next generation. So let's see firstly how it compares on the gaming results, and then we'll jump straight into the mining hash rates. As you can see from the numbers on screen, the 3060 Ti performed with 11.165 on TimeSpy versus a 2080 Super, which is 11.168. So again, you can see the other numbers on the screen at the moment that give a very kind of uh, interesting comparative. And as you can see, there's virtually no difference between the cards, between different manufacturer, different SKU, very different overclock settings. Um, you're going to see a pretty much near parity across the board. So as advertised, NVIDIA seem to have delivered here with a pretty comparable 2080 card um, in this new generation of equipment. So now let's jump straight into the mining hash rates, which I'm sure you're going to be pretty excited to see. So Straight out of the box on Ethereum, we managed 51 mega hash. Now that was doing 200 TDP, so 200 watts of power, straight out of the box um, at 51 hash. So not too shabby, but of course that's not good enough for us here. So let's do some overclocking, some playing with, um, and what numbers do we get when that's the case? So on the really high end, when we crank everything up to 10 as it were on this card, we managed to get 63 mega hash out of this card. Um, which is pretty damn impressive. Are you not entertained? So in the point of efficiency in the middle, which is of course where we like to be as crypto miners, 
Um, 54 mega hash was the number that we landed on. Now that was a combination of reducing the power all the way down to 120 watts, which is of course a pretty heavy reduction in power from its 200 watt baseline. So down at 120 watts, we were getting 54 hash. So pretty impressive um, when you compare it with other cards of its nature or previous generations of cards in watt per hash. So that gave us a watt per hash figure of 0.455. Now, moving on to Ravencoin, which of course, for those of you that understand the crypto world in a bit more detail, Ravencoin is a much uh, tougher mining algorithm on the Kapow algorithm based off progressive proof of work, of course. So unlike Ethereum, which just kind of tests the memory of the card, um, Ravencoin stretches both the memory and the core. So a little bit more reflective of its kind of overall horsepower um, as a device as you were. So again, straight out of the box numbers for Ravencoin was 25.5 hash at 100% power, of course, 200 watts. Then when we managed to tweak it up to the top, the top figure that we were able to get that number to was 27.92, so just a skin under uh, 28 mega hash. And then when we reduce it down, of course, to kind of find the optimum sweet spot in the middle, um, as we often would like to practically run devices at in more reality, then we end up at a figure of 25.29, um, which reduces that power down to 140 watts. So not too shabby again on power to get a pretty decent hash rate. So as you can see, the 3060 Ti is pretty much exactly what Nvidia says it was on the tin. We have a 2080 Super in a new package, a little bit smaller, slightly more power efficient and a little nudge forward uh, from the last generation, which is pretty cool. So ultimately, it's going to really come down to price point because, of course, the RRP of these cards is at a pretty respectable price, but can we get our hands on them? Certainly not at the moment. For any time in the future, it's going to be pretty tough. So for gaming, this is going to be a really, really great kind of mid-range card. We're going to be pretty confident. A lot of gamers are really going to be excited to use this. On the crypto mining front, the numbers that it's producing um, don't seem to be anything particularly amazing. We'll have to kind of see how different versions get released of different mining softwares and see if there's any further overclocks that can be done once people have had these cards for a little bit longer. But when you've got the bigger boys, such as the 3070s, 3080s, that are probably going to be more for mining appetites, then it's probably safe to say that unless something changes, these smaller cards might not be as in demand for those type of purposes. We hope you've really enjoyed everything that we've put together for you here. We've got this video out nice and quickly for you. So um, if you could give us a big like as a thank you and subscribe again for more content coming. We've now tested the good chunk of the 30 series. We've got the 3090 test, the 3080 tests, the 3070 test, the 6800 tests, all on the channel here for you to be able to have a look at. So this completes the, the latest graphics card test. Of course, we do have the 6900 video coming out from AMD as soon as we get our hands on that. So subscribe to come and have a look to see what's next on the channel as well as general crypto and market advice as we now move up to all-time high prices we've got some really exciting content planned for you so we hope you've enjoyed this and we can't wait to see you again in the next video